excellence you want that kind of blessing hallelujah you want that kind of blessing this morning he'll give it to you all the glory why don't you give him a clap this morning give him a joyful noise for the reasons of your God I'm blessing you now for you my sister God is so good he has given us another day who came this day woke up even to worship him hallelujah I'm blessing on the upward Stand before thee, Lord, as we sit here 
from these scriptures. Heavenly Father, may you examine us, O God, may you examine me. May you try our faith. For we desire to be better Christians. We desire to be more like you, Lord. Help us, O God. We cannot walk this away, this way by ourselves. We can go on our own way, Lord. May thou be our guide. May thou be our leader. Father, I commit thy children that be gathered in different places this morning. As you speak to them, O oh God, may you speak to us. Lord God, you have only one thing to lift up your holy name, to glorify your holy name, to fortify your holy name, to worship your name, Lord, is our desire. May you make yourself available, O oh God. As we need scripture, O oh God, you break it for us for this day. The Lord, we may see whatever you ordained for us for this day, Lord. I commit this little flock unto your hands. The shepherd of God, the instrument is Lord, the song leader, Father, the brothers and the sisters of God. Together, Father, we are coming in one accord. May you meet us, O Father, at our points of need. I commit the service unto your hands. You receive all glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. We we'll turn to the book of Genesis, chapter 4, and also we we'll read from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5. Praise God. From Genesis, as you see, you can go ahead. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good to see all of you in the house of the Lord. Amen. Genesis chapter 4, we read from verse 3 to 6. The Bible says, And the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. The Lord had respect unto Abel, to his offering, but unto Cain, unto his offering, he had no respect. And Cain was very rough, and his countenance fell. The Lord saith unto Cain, What art thou wrong? And why is thy countenance fallen? We will turn to Ephesians chapter 5. I will write to it a few lines there, but I'll read two verses for now. Then you can be seated. Ephesians chapter 5. We read verse 1 and 2. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling servant. Father God, we once again thank you for the reading of this scripture. Break it to us, God, to our understanding. May you give us the revelation of thy word. I commit, take every spirit 
every heart ever saw him. The control of the power of the Spirit of God. May you come down, minister to us through your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I do come to our souls. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Just before, maybe uh, we can read one more scripture from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. It's uh, a familiar, a common a scripture that we know. We will read from verse 1 to 6. <clears throat> Who are believed our report, and to whom is our arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up there, uh, up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of the dry ground he had no form nor commonness, and when we will shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. We hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and was esteemed not. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us. Wow. May the Lord add blessings Amen. to his word. Do you love him? Praise God. This morning, by His grace, we want to speak on a thought that has been on my mind. And, um, like to speak on true sacrifice. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because people are out there, Christians, men in the world, heathens, you can think about all that giving sacrifice. The Old Testament, the New Testament, they gave sacrifice. But there is false sacrifice and there is true sacrifice. Amen. There is an accepted sacrifice right. and there is a sacrifice that is not accepted. Amen. So by His grace, we just want to look at a few lines as the Lord will guide us and speak on true sacrifice and try to determine what that sacrifice is. And you see in the book of Ephesians, the Bible says, verse 2, And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering in a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling servant. Praise God. Amen. Sacrifice an act of slaughtering an animal in the Old Testament Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, a person surrendering a possessive or a possession as an offering towards a divine power. Towards God. Towards a supernatural figure. Praise the Lord. But in the dictionary, it's an act of giving up something valued for the sake of something else regarded more important than that thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you are having a house and you are giving it away because you think if you give it to your son or your daughter, it's more important. So you are sacrificing it from yourself to your son or to your daughter because you imagine that that going to your son is more important than it is for you. Hallelujah. In other words, you need it. But you are giving it away because you consider so you are going to give it to is more important than yourself may need it. Praise the Lord. And true sacrifice is a revelation. 
Are we together? Amen. That is why the Bible says Abel and Cain, they all both offered the sacrifice. Amen. But you see, one is offered and God respects it. And the other one is offered, but God rejects it. Why? Because one offered by revelation. The other one had no revelation. Praise God. Amen. So as we go together, we are going to see when you come even to give to God a sacrifice of your life, then you should pray such the Lord that you give it by revelation. Because you can give it, but it's not acceptable before God. Amen. John 3.16 Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, you see, God is giving something that was very important to him. Jesus was the only begotten son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But you see, he's giving him He's giving the very, gave his only begotten son. Why did he give him? He's sacrificing him. And as we see, Jesus became our sacrifice for our sins. Now, Jesus was important in the presence of God. But you see, he gives him out to die. So this morning, I may ask you, how are you in the presence of God? You are very, very important before God. That took God himself that could not even trust the angels. But he took his only begotten son. That he came down on earth. Took flesh. Crucified. Died. For you and for me. Amen. What a blessedness. Amen. Praise the Lord. We look at Luke 27 and verse 4. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just trying to lay these scriptures so we can go in between them. And remember, we had Cain. He gave sacrifice. Abel gave sacrifice. All of them went before God. But one is accepted. And that's why Paul says, let us make our calling sure. Amen. With fear and trembling. We go to worship our God. Amen. Because in vain thou have worshipped him. Amen. In vain thou have called upon him. Amen. But they are them that are calling him. And when they speak, I'm waiting for the speech of my sisters. When they speak, Luke 27 and verse 4. Praise the Lord. Amen. When they speak, when they cry, when they go to their knees, hallelujah. The throne of God is silent because you are very important to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to look. Praise the Lord. Did I put it wrong? Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bible says the Son of God, the Son of Man, must be delivered into the hands of the sinful man and be crucified and on the third day hallelujah Amen. he will raise praise the Lord Amen. the son of man was given praise the Lord Amen. 427 right I always put in the Lord sorry forgive me for that you see the son of man must be delivered into the hands of a sinful man and be crucified and the third day rise. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you look at chapter 23 and verse 33, it says, And when they were come to a place that's called Calvary, Hallelujah. there they crucified him. Amen. And Rabbanam uses that scripture to preach on a message of indictment. And he says, You're indicting this generation for crucifying him. A second time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When they accomplished Christ, which is called Calvary, 
There they crucified him. And the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Remember, keep in your mind, we are talking about true sacrifice. Amen. And remember, Jesus is our sacrifice for our sins. Amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He died on the cross of Calvary for our sake. He was placed on the tree, hung on the cross between two male factors for you and for me. He was the loving of God. He was the begotten of God. He was the only son of God. But that day on Calvary, oh, hallelujah. Praise God. That day on Calvary, my sins were placed on the cross. Sacrifice is serving. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sacrifice is giving. Friends, the cross was not an easy one. He desired the cup would be taken away from him. But he allowed the coming of him, the hopes of him, to fulfill all righteousness. And he said, My father, my father, why have thou forsaken me? But not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. Why was it? What was the will of the Father? That he should die for the Father to redeem this generation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Friends, the purpose of life should be to make life better for someone else. We are living in perilous times. Where men and women have become lovers of themselves. They are themselves. They don't care about the next. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brother, let me tell you, sister, let me tell you. Whatever you give in sacrifice. Whatever you are sacrificing in your everyday life. If it can cost you your soul, it's too expensive. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whatever you are sacrificing for, if it can cost you your soul, it's too expensive. Deny it. Amen. Don't buy it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If whatever you are sacrificing for, Cost you your peace. On Friday, we spoke about letting off pressure. If the things you are sacrificing your life for, if they are taking away your peace, they are too expensive. Don't buy them. Don't go for them. Don't take that relationship. Run away. Praise the Lord. If it can cost you your faith, your job that is costing you your faith is not cheap. Yeah. It's too expensive. Amen. Surrender that job. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Is too expensive. Are we together? Amen. There was divine sacrifice and there was physical sacrifice. And let me tell you, friends, I love to preach to a packed church, a huge congregation. I love to do it. But I'd rather preach for two men and two women, one man and one woman, that are giving true sacrifice than pick to a thousand, to ten thousand, that they have a rejected sacrifice before God. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's all vanity. It's all in vain. And if I'm coming to the house of the Lord, I want to come and offer true sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are family. We just talk like a family. Amen. Is that right? Amen. In love. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Cain and Abel brought an offering to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. One from the produce of his farm. Praise God. Amen. The first produce from the land. He packed it very good. And he brought it to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And Abel, the Bible says, you see, had a fat lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. The firstborn of the flock, he brought it into sacrifice. And I can imagine all of them are walking before God. They are going to offer their sacrifice. The Bible says, two shall be in bed. One will go. And the other one shall be left. Amen. Run. Run for your faith. Run for your salvation. Amen. Run for his grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bible says, now after leaving the ark, he immediately built an altar and offered a burnt offering. Praise the Lord. Amen. He gave a sacrifice. That will be found in Genesis chapter 8. We are not going to read. But you see, sacrifice physically has been given in the Old Testament for a purpose of devotion, of the purpose of people worshipping God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We know Abraham willingly who was ready to offer the very only one, the son he had. Hallelujah. Amen. What was it? A sacrifice reflecting what Christ would be from God, the only Son. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the moment of sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. And do you see much of the sacrifice in Israel was a burnt offering. It was laid on the altar. The Bible says, placed on a kesha wood. And they burn it there in the morning and in the evening. And I would like to go and just mention some of this because of times or 12 after. I'm not going into the details of this offering. Just want to go straight and hit the point and maybe go to pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. Israel had five kind of sacrifices or offerings. They had a burnt offering. Burnt offering was offered early in the morning and in the evening. And they have seen most of the sacrifice will be burned, replaced on the altar. Tattered doves, sheep, lamb. And it was given for various or different purposes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So there was a burnt offering. And that was done by the children, by the priests in the land of Israel. There was grain offering, which was another sacrifice, and the only sacrifice from the harvest that did not involve blood. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was given by the children of Israel, and it was required of them to do it from their first fruits in the land. Are we together? There was another one. I wish I could go to the scripture and, and find all of them. Peace offering. Praise the Lord. This was called the well-being. They offered another one. You see, sometimes we take peace for granted. There are men and women who are troubled. And when I talk about peace, it's just not about war. It's not about fighting. There are men and women, brother, they can't sleep. Praise God. Amen. I may be crying for one or two, but the men, they are rich, but they don't see their bed. And in some fact, there's too much pressure. People cannot sleep. And in fact, there is so pressure whether you are poor or rich, you are still under pressure. Old or young, there is pressure. The rich man is so worried how he's going to spend his money and the, some robbers may come and take it. The poor man is wondering how he's going to meet his bills and look how he can steal some from the rich man. He's scared of the law. Hallelujah. Amen. So there was that offering. Hallelujah. Amen. The peace offering. The Bible says it consisted of a bull or a cow or a lamb or a goat. Praise the Lord. Amen. You love him? Amen. Amen. Was offered for who? To the Lord. 
I'm speaking about true sacrifice. Remember that. Because when you come to true sacrifice, I'm coming to speak to you and myself. Hallelujah. Amen. And the purpose is, if we're in the house of God, if our sacrifice is acceptable before God, nothing is going to defeat us. Amen. We don't play games. When we ask God, he'll grant it. Amen. Because we are acceptable in his presence. Amen. Praise the Lord. There was the fourth one, which was the sin offering. One of these days you can look at each and define. Maybe our pastor can do that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The sin offering was for purification. And this was designed to deal with sin committed and willingly. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or I say unintentionally. There are certain things people will do as we saw maybe if you are running to the city of refuge you steal some metal and it hit somebody you didn't mean to do it the man died and the bound was eye to eye ear to ear and you are to run and as you ran if the man, the family of the woman of the man you killed if they found you, you are going to die also so the only thing you are to have was to take off and run and as you ran into the city of refuge, if you go there, and then you go to the gatekeeper, and the gatekeeper will sit down and examine you. He'll ask you what you did. And we saw when you were going there, you had to do it willingly. You did it by choice. You had a revelation. You knew that if I can just go here, and you must have known I did this unwillingly. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a sin offering. Are we together? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Do you love him? Amen. God has a provided way. You have another one, the fifth one, is guilt offering. The guilt offering or sacrifice look more similar to the sin offering. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this was basically for trespass. It was a liberation. You love him? Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, it was given so that you could receive atonement. Praise God. Amen. Maybe you took something illegally that you are not supposed to take. And you realize, oh, I made a mistake. Now you are guilty. Now, if you are guilty, then in the Old Testament there was a provision for that. You'll go to the priest and there will be a condition for what you should do. And your guilt was taken before the priest. And once it was done and you took it out, then they provided the offering for the preparation and you'll be set free. Are we together? Amen. You see, God is a God of law and grace. Praise God. Amen. He gives the law and is a gracious God and he stands in the middle. Amen. And that's why he knew there will be people committing sin. He knew there will be people dying. He prepared six cities of refuge. Amen. Are we together? Amen. I'm just trying to go slowly and look at my notes here as we go on so we can bring this together. Praise the Lord. So all those sacrifices were given either individually or by the children of Israel as a group. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you see, when you brought an animal for sacrifice, you are not supposed to bring a lamb lamb. You are not supposed to bring a lamb God. It was to be pure. When you went to your flock, you're not going to look at the weakest and say, I don't need this one. Remember I said sacrifice, you are sacrificing something important. You are giving something that's important for another thing that's more important to you than what you have. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you committed sin, you are going to give yourself out for dependence. Because that giving out, that shame you are taking, 
is more important to you because you are visionary, you know I rather make it right to be right with God than be here the way I am and I'm wrong with God. Amen. Where is God? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You are to bring the best. It becomes very greasy there. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In the New Testament, that was the Old Testament. Let's look at a little bit of New Testament. Then we come to ourselves. Are we enjoying this? Are we together? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Just uh, interactive. Is that talk? Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus was born, do you know Mary? He came to the temple and he brought some offering. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. He brought some sacrifice. He brought some turtle doves. He just could just want to see that. Praise the Lord. Amen. He brought it to the priest so that the priest could bring what they call the purification of the baby. Hallelujah. We call it dedication. Hallelujah. Amen. And you see, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, God gave a provision. There was the sheep and lamb, there were turtle doves. There were the poor and the rich. So God, when He comes in our midst, He gives us all what we are capable to do. He provides a way for you to make it. And I said, sacrifice, if we are one family, if indeed we are one family, we should be determined to make life a little bit easy for my next run. That's right. yeah. It should not just be about me. Praise God. Amen. Eternal life is dying for others. That's, right. That's the reason Jesus Christ died. Praise God. Amen. Sacrifice. You are giving for the next and if today I can sacrifice sincerely to my brother, if today I can sincerely sacrifice for my sister, if my sister sincerely can sacrifice for me, we are going to be a happy family. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus on crucifixion, and that's what we read from the book of Ephesians, and that can also be found in the book of Hebrews chapter 7. When they crucified him, he offered himself as a sacrifice for our sins. So I don't need to own sin anymore. I only need to believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And blood in the Old Testament was given as a cover for the sin. Now you see, when the lamb was brought, when the goat was brought, and was killed, slaughtered, and placed on a kesha wood, now your sins were covered. That lamb was given in as a sacrifice for that sin. But you see, that sin was simply covered, but what it was still there. Amen. It's just like if I take a small mark and put some red here, and come and take something black and put on top. When we came to this building, there was some paint. Now you realize that someone else comes in and they just decide to change the coat and put another paint on it. In other words, when you come here, there is something red behind me here. Now we took something else green and put on top of it. It has not that is still there. In other words, if I pull this, you could see the red. Is that right? Now what the blood of the bulls, what the blood of the goats, what the blood of the sheep, what they did to cover the sins when they gave us a sacrifice, it covered the sins of the children of Israel. As a symbol, as a type of the Son of God who was going to come to bring the true redemption to the world. Hallelujah. Now you see, when Jesus comes now, as he says he gave himself the cause of Calvary, now the blood of Jesus comes from him as we read from the book of Isaiah, a man acquainted with much sorrow. We even didn't esteem him. But by his stripes we are made whole. That blood of Jesus didn't just cover the sin. That blood of Jesus 
erase the sin. It takes away your sin. It takes it out. Once it gets in the battle, Jesus, you cannot see it anymore. It cannot be counted on you again. Because that blood was official, the supernatural sacrifice of God to his children. Praise the Lord. Destroy the sin. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The divine sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Man, in the presence of God, had to take the blood to cover for his sin. And you see the sheep skin when you look at the book of Genesis. When man tried to cover himself with the religion, he took something from the land, the same spirit of Cain. When man tried to cover himself with the leaves, God came and took the skin of the sheep, meaning blood in time. The sheep had to die. Is that right? Yeah. To cover that very sin of unbelief. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Jesus is our provided sacrifice for our sickness, Amen. for our sins, for our distress, for our salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus is God's all-sufficient sacrifice. Who is he? He is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus is the only sacrifice that's going to sway a believer to move from this world into rapture. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the only force that's going to make the bride because of the Lamb of God, the sacrifice God gave. Jesus says, I'm going a little while I'm with you, but in a little I'll be back. That very sacrifice is the only one that's going to pull you and me from this world into the world to come. Sacrifice is a service. True sacrifice is a service. Are we ready? Are we ready, saints? Are we ready to sacrifice for the Lord? Amen. We'll be looking at Brand Better Miles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Amen. Jesus was that very lamb. And when he went to Lazarus, as we sometime back, grave. When they spoke to him, he says, Lazarus is sleeping. Our friend is sleeping. Because he knew who he was. The woman, the blood issue. He met Jesus. Hallelujah. The true sacrifice of her sins. He was healed. The Hebrew children, oh, in the very furnace, they met that sacrifice. When the kings came against them, that God's sacrifice came down for them. He stood as a fourth man. They were free, set free. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are we together? Amen. That same Jesus, that same rock of ages, that same power, that same logos is the same one we are looking for tonight. It's the same one we are looking for this afternoon. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He has not changed. Praise the Lord. He is obligated to fulfill his promise if we can go on the principle of faith as provided by his word. When you are walking with him, you must check what he wants. And no man can save you. No man can save themselves. But it's faith in God that's going to save me and you. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
that great faith, according to Zozo in the Old Testament, S O Z O, Zozo, that stands for both salvation, praise the Lord, and the healing. Is that faith when you receive it? Isaiah 53 comes in effect by the stripes. We are made whole by his stripes. Hallelujah. He was wounded for our transgressions. Praise God. And by his stripes, we are healed. We are made all. Can we have faith in Christ? Praise the Lord. Can we have faith like Enoch had faith? He had faith and he walked with God. The Bible says until he was no more. That's the faith we are preaching. That one of these days we are going to walk with God. And one of the glad mornings we shall be no more. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Jesus. That stopped the storm. He's the same Jesus today. The very sacrifice of the Lamb of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your word, my word can return to me. But God's word does not return to him Amen. without fulfilling the very word he promised. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. Now let's try to look at maybe just one individual. I could look at all this. I could look at Noah. I could look at, uh, I could look at uh, Abraham. I could look at Elijah. I could look at so many that gave sacrifices. And we could look at some sacrifices that were rejected and sacrifice that was accepted. But I want to talk to you about a sacrifice that how you can give it for accepting. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The prophet says it's not important for me to take a time and waste time trying to study the wrong dollar. I need to study the right dollar. Amen. So anytime I encounter a false dollar, I just lift up my good dollar. And the good dollar will disappoint the wrong dollar. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are not interested in looking and going following the Google and the YouTube to know who is preaching wrong things. We are interested in the right things being preached. Amen. So that the right things can build us. Praise God. Amen. To the strength of a statue of a perfect man and woman. Praise God. Let me tell you, friends, I've tried to listen to so many powerful ministers. Sometimes to listen to them preaching very hard, maybe jumping on the pulpit. But I take one sermon from Brother Branham and it just makes a whole difference. Amen. It creates a whole different atmosphere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's go to the blind bar. But Myers, I think that like about 15, 15 messages on that, 55 or 4. Uh, Alberta, Canada. Praise the Lord. Let's see blind. I want to follow blind, but Myers. Because this man, we talk about him as a man, God, a man, blind man was healed. But you see, this man has some kind of history that I want us to follow a little bit. I wasn't sure about it. I was trying to follow it a little bit and then I found where the prophet speaks about him. So if the prophet speaks about him, I want to speak about him today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe give me another few minutes by one o'clock maybe I'll be done. What is grace? But I want to look at blind but miles. Let's go to line one on that message. We'll follow it a little bit. And as who come from Africa and maybe to the other worlds, you used to see like the blind men, the blind people, the blind women, when they walk on the streets, they used to have certain things that one, they'll be controlling or guiding them. Some of them, because they're begging, they'll be asking for some, some coins, some help. Now, some of them will create some things, the prophet will show us, and they'll take some things here to pull attraction. So those will be like the source of income. That's right. Some will be having snacks, as you'll see. Some will be having some small small goats and things like that. And they tickle them on the highways and byways. And when the pass by has passed by, they'll be asking for some money. And that's how blind but miles was. That was the history of blind but miles. But we are going to see him trying to give a sacrifice. 
and what kind of sacrifice did he give? And what did God do to him? Amen. Because as we come into the house of the Lord, friends, we must learn to do it right. We must give to God right. We must walk right before God. If you are a blessing to God, you are healing from God. You are victory from God. Go the right way. Go to God provided way. For there is God's provided way for anything. There's God's way provided for healing. There's God's way provided for salvation. There's God's provided way for victory. Unless you go through God's provided way, you are not going to get it. Praise God. I don't care how many times you come to this church. I don't care how many churches you've gone to. The Bible says you must repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins to receive the Holy Ghost. That's the only provided way for God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So another way. Amen. God's kingdom has no shortcuts. Right. You must do it the right way. Amen. You must repent of your Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Did you find the did you find the quote? Can you believe me? I didn't mean, it. I just, it's, it's nice. Amen. I was enjoying it as I read it. Oh my. Oh hallelujah. Oh praise God. Sometimes I feel like that. Amen. Oh praise God. You love him? Is it there? Amen. Amen. It's not there. Fifty-five. Praise God. Oh my. Sometimes maybe I'll read it from my. You found it? I know it should be there. Hallelujah. You got it? Okay. 55. Canada, Alberta? April? 550400. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm playing this again because. There's good stuff in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You found it? Hallelujah. The prophet said by saying, In them days, beggars in order to get just a little something from the public, they are to have a little something extra. And we see that in India, the only way a beggar, if he just stood on the street with his hand out and said, give me a coin, or a begging something, he seldom got anything. But if they had a little, the one little fella had a monkey, I was amazed at him. He would, this little monkey would give him a beating with a stick, Take the stick and run him all over the street, give him a beating, and he would beg. He would see somebody coming by, and then he would have the monkey to run him again. And then run up and fall down on his face and lay hands out, trying to get someone to give him something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, they did something. They ran it on the streets. They tried to pull the people to come to them to give them something. Praise the Lord. Another had a copper snake and all different things. Everything that they could do. Some little enlightenment, something different to attract the attention of the passerby. Now you see, they had something with them. There is some paraphernalia. There is something along the streets. So that when they were doing that, probably the past buyers could stop by. Hallelujah. And we are told that blind Bartimaeus had two little turtle doves. And they done little tricks for the people. Now you see, blind Bartimaeus had those turtle doves. And the very moment he walked with them, he did some little tricks in the turtle doves on the streets. And as he did that, then the past buyers will come by to have a look at the turtle doves. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And they had done little tricks for the people. They would do little tumbles over each other. 
And they said that one night his wife got sick. I want you to get this very important. And you see, sacrifice is something you are giving because you expect what you are going to get is very important. Now you see, but my house one night, the wife becomes very sick. Now he's told, hey, but Myers, your wife is sick. Hallelujah. Now let's see what Brian but Myers is going to do. Are we together? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And they said that one night his wife got sick. Now this may be a fiction story. So he went out and he asked God if he would let his wife get well. Now you see when you go to God for favor, you are going to ask God for some favor. God also, if you read the message, possessed in the gates of the enemy after trial. He said, you are looking for healing. Why do you want that healing? Why do you want God to give you a better job? Why do you want God to give you a wife? Why do you want God to give you a house? What is the purpose of you looking for these things? Amen. Praise God. He would take, now, if he would let his wife get well, that he would take the turtle doves up and offer them for an offering the next morning at the synagogue. Now, you see, the turtle doves was the paycheck for blind but miles. The turtle doves are the only things he had in himself to use to make an income to have some coins on the streets. The turtle doves now he had been trained to do some tricks so that men and women passing by the streets could be attracted, they could come and have some fun and give some coin, some money to this guy, this gentleman, uh, the blind man. Are you following? Amen. Hallelujah. Well, the wife, she got to wear. You see, when you ask God for something, God is going to do it. And God does not listen to fools. God does not listen to sinners. When you tell God, if you save me, I'm going to do this. God may give you salvation. God may give you a purpose. God may grant it to you. But you must remember to fulfill what you told God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll, I'll offer them for the offering the next morning at the synagogue. Where? The wives got well. So he went and offered the tackle the house. Then he didn't have nothing to attract the attention. He gave out everything. He had nothing to do now. Oh my. Hallelujah. After a bit, they said that his little girl that he had never seen. Oh, God bless you. You found it fun. I know. The world. You see, that's I tell friends, you know, I don't want to quote things just I heard from some of them. I want to read it myself. Amen. Now imagine if I have this and it's nowhere in the message. I'm sure you will fire me the following day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, friends, it's my prayer that if I say something on this pulpit, I know it's from the Bible and I know it's from the message and I stand for it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh, line six. After a bit, they said that this is little girl that he had never seen, that she got sick one night. And the doctor said they could do more for her. They could do nothing. You see, what did he do? what he did then? He went out and prayed. He did something. Your child is sick. Your mother is sick. Your neighbor is sick. You are going to God. Don't just talk. Go and pray. Amen. Tell God something about it. Amen. Speak to God. And speak to God like you mean it. Amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Now you see, he went out and prayed. And he said, Lord, I only have one thing that I can offer you. That is my lamb. Oh my. Oh, are, you, are you with me, friends? Amen. I should see a big amen here. Amen. Are you following with me? Amen. This poor man has given his turtle down. The only thing he had to attract money to come to him. The only thing he had just to come and get an income. It was those two turtle doves. He gave 
atonement sacrifice to the synagogue for the sake of the wife. Now come the next night, the daughter, and he was blind. The Bible says he never saw the daughter. And the daughter, oh, hallelujah. He told God, I'm going to offer my lamb. Now, what was the lamp? The lamp was his eyes. The lamp was guiding him on the streets because he couldn't see. In America today, we have trained dogs. There are some special sticks that if you are blind, you can take it and you are trained and you can walk with them in their senses. You can take a dog that can walk through the streets, knows when to stop, when to run, when to... They, they, they have. But in the Old Testament, they didn't have. Praise God. Amen. Oh my. I can offer you. Why would God ask for that? God demands you to do something. Amen. And that's why we don't get blessings. We want to receive, to receive, to receive, to receive from God. But we are not willing to give back to God. You must give back to God. Amen. To receive from God. That's the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now today. A blind man is usually led by a dog. Oh, I said about it. They have dogs, they train them, they lead the blind, and in them days, instead of having a dog trained, they had a lamb trained, and the lamb led the blind. And he said, this lamb is all I have. But if you let my little girl get well, I promise you, Father, tomorrow, I'll give you this lamb. Not any lamb, that lamb. That very own lamb he had. The only thing he had. His hope. The only hope he had to wake up in the morning. And God, remember, now he seemed to be left minus. You know, I want you, sometimes you need scriptures and you need to follow up the background of the scripture. Many times, just leave it. I'm still following. Don't take it out. And you see, we are following this because many times we just need scriptures and we are all. And the blind man was healed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh my. Hallelujah. My sister, are you still there? Hallelujah. Good line eight. Oh my. Amen. Amen. They said, This lamb is all I have, but if you let my little girl get well, I promise you, Father, that tomorrow I'll give you this lamb. I'll buy thy name. It's good. Just go and read all of it. So, the little girl, the next morning, was much better. And he seen she was going to recover. So, he goes up to offer up the lamb. You see, you are looking for healing. Maybe you are praying to God. And this is why we fail. You go and you are told this is what you are supposed to do. Or you tell God is God. When you talk to God, you may be talking to a preacher, you may be talking to a pastor. God is represented in spirit. Amen. And when you are talking to God, don't fail to do what you promised. Amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God is not a God of stories. Mm -hmm. Church is not a place to play game. Don't come to church and promise things and fail to do them. If you can't do them, don't promise. That's right. Because we stand before the King of Kings. Amen. The Creator of all things. Right. The Lord Jehovah. Jehovah El Shaddai. He's the creator. He's all knowing. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's the provider. He knows the beginning to the end. When you start to speak your mouth, speak with wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. You see now, so now this little girl is now recovered. Now, blind but miles had to keep his promise. And you see how sometimes the devil can come along the way when you are keeping the word of God? Now see what goes on here. And the priest said, where goes thou, blind Bartimaeus? He said, priest, I go up to the temple to offer my lamb. Through sacrifice. God healed my child last night. You see, if you look at the line before, the following day, the child just looked like he was recovering. Now he's coming with a confession. He's testifying. God last night, he healed my child. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants this kind of testimonies. God wants confirmation. God wants confession. God wants you to possess. God wants you to confess that I'm healed. 
My son is healed. My daughter is healed. My mother is healed. Because God said, He is my healer. And I prayed. I offered my sacrifice. I've got my sacrifice of faith. And God promised. Amen. Hallelujah. Where goest thou blind but my eyes? He said, Priest, I go to the temple to offer my lamb. God healed my child last night, and I'm going to offer my lamb because I promised God. Hallelujah. This morning, what have you promised God? This year, what did you promise God? On the year standard, what did you promise God? As the year is coming to an end, what are you promised promise God? What are you going to do? Are you going to keep your promise to God? Hallelujah. Amen. Here is the priest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, blind but Marius, you can't offer that lamb. You see, the priest seemed to care. God does not care about anything. God cares about his word. Amen. Amen. I promised him this lamb. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, the priest looked very kind. The priest and the priest looks fair. God does not look fair. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many times, we are always trying to do something. You know it isn't your gift or your offering. It is you that God wants. You see, he said, I promised him, I'll give him this lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. My brother, when you get your paycheck, now you have it in your hand. Did you promise God you are going to give it? Thank you, my brother. I think you saw my mind. Thank you just for a minute. Hallelujah. When you receive your healing, do you, I want us to follow this. I like to give you the word. Amen. Is your house still more important to you than the word of God? Is paying devil more important? Is flying out more important? You think God is going to understand because you say I have an emergency, I'm going, I'm going to, to France. God does not care about your excuses. God cares about his word. Amen. This is fun. Amen. And I say anything that takes away your soul is too expensive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, O priest of God. Where was I? Yes, I promised him I'll give him this lamp. He said, you can't give him that lamp. That lamp is your eyes, but my eyes. How are you going to walk tomorrow? I understand. But my eyes, I know you mean good. Just take it back with you. It's your eyes, but my eyes. He said, oh, priest. If blind but Myers has made a promise to God and I am keeping my promise, God will provide a lamp for blind but Myers. Eyes. Hallelujah. Why don't you give him a clap? He was blind. But if he could sacrifice, if he could offer, God had a better lamp for him. The priest looked at the lamp, the physical lamp. But God looked at but Myers. From another revelation. Amen. He looked at Bert Myers with another bigger eye. Yes, oh, hallelujah. We serve a living God. Hallelujah. We serve a faithful God. Yes, He's seeing you. He knows hallelujah. you. He knew you. Before your mother hallelujah. and your father came together and you appeared in your mother's womb. Amen. God knew you. He created you. He knew what you be. He knew the job you do. He knew the city you live in. He knew the church you be in. He's Jehovah God. Of the eyes, in the whole universe. That's the God we serve. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's the living king. He's a fire. He's a consuming fire. He needs his sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's forget this cheap kind of testimonies. Yes, sir. Help us, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't mock God. You weren't listening. You can't mock God. For God is God. Don't bring to God lamb lambs. He is the best. You are the best. 
But God wants the best. Oh my. Of them not being harsh. Forgive me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what happened. God had a provided lamp. A blind but my eyes. The lamp of God. That was slain from the foundation of the world. And but my eyes received his sight. From God's provided lamb. Hallelujah. And Jesus is the same today. Are you blind? He can give you an eyesight. Are you sick? He can heal you. Just give your sacrifice to him. Hallelujah. 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 Professor, the same lamb is provided tonight for every person here in this building. Jesus Christ, God's lamb slain for the foundation of the world. He's provided tonight for your sins, no matter how black they are. I don't care your brothers telling you what. I don't care what men are telling you. It may last be black as black it is. If you can go before him and cry before him and believe your sins, God sent his only begotten son for me and for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's provided for your sickness. No matter how sick you are. Oh, how afflicted you are. That's why we read the book of Isaiah. I don't care your condition. How sick you are. Only believe. All things are possible. This is the message you are preaching. This is the message of the Lord Jesus. This is the message of Elijah. This is the message of Brother Panham. It's the bride ministry. Shining in the moonlight. In the darkness. In the night. Hallelujah. We are drawing our light from the sunshine. We are taking our light. And in darkness, we have the ministry of the moon. Hallelujah. Oh my. I could just read this message, the all of it. Amen. Oh my. Praise the Lord. And every statement of it, God listen to it. It's so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he was here on earth, he went about doing good. And I told you the sacrifice is doing good. Amen. It's a service. Amen. It's making the other part better. It's great. You see, if you're a brother, don't just train your brother till he falls. Don't push them so hard. Try, the Bible says, draw a bigger circle. Try to pull them back to the faith. Hallelujah. Help them out. Because we are having, we are going to a city, a better city than where we are. Hallelujah. Oh, he was doing good. And we've seen him that he didn't claim that he was a healer. He claimed that God done the healing through him. And he didn't do any of it until God showed him by a vision first what to do. He said, very, very, I say unto you, the son can do nothing in himself but what he sees the father doing that doing the son likewise. And was this ministry when he was here on earth. And that's the ministry of the bride. Amen. Oh, my. I read those quotes that I forgot my notes. Oh, God, have mercy. Do you love him? Amen. Oh, my, my. It's so sweet. Is it so sweet to trust the Lord Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I promise you, if you can promise God and keep your word to God, God is faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. Which line am I on there? My sister's line 19, okay. Praise the Lord. Now, you see, let me, let me, let me look at line 11. Did I read it? I feel like I missed something there. There you go. Let me start. Amen. You see, he says, he said, blind but moyas, you can't offer the lamb. That lamb, he said, I'll give you some money. See? And you can go up to the buyers and buy a lamb and offer the lamb because you can't offer that lamb. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Just get me right. You are not going to borrow money to pay your tithe. You pay tithe from what you make. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just borrow from my brother and pay tithe. You are wrong. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we need to be faithful. And remember, here yeah, we are not preaching money. We, are, we, are, we, want, we want you to come and worship God. Amen. We could preach and take the money 
and to give you a quote. But that's not our cause. But when you offer, don't, don't, don't eat God's and go on the ball and bring. God wants that that you say, this is God's. That's a sacrifice. <laughs> it becomes very hard. Amen. Are we together? Amen. And it's just not about money. It's about time. Amen. It's about you coming to church. That's right. God wants you in church now. Amen. Or I'll go do this the next time. I'll go to church. That's God said now. Amen. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. The excuse is good. Even the priest will understand. Yes. You'll text the priest, he'll understand. He said, you don't need to sell it to you. Just get some money and pay. But God will never understand. That's right. Amen. Am I misquoting? No. Am I misquoting saints? No, sir. I'm only trying to help myself as I help you. Mm -hmm. Young boys, if you are still doing a small job, all the time you get your paycheck, send something to the house of God. Give some offering into the house of God. And you'll see Amen. what God's going to do. Amen. Don't bring that tall note. The third one. You know some men even count their notes in the bag and in the wallet and they look at the most old is the one they put in the offering bag. Because they don't. Are you going to keep this a picture? The very new one you just go from the bank you are going to give the storekeeper to get the soda. And you think you can't take the new one and put it in the offering bag? God have mercy on me. Are we happy? Amen. I shouldn't be guilty for not telling you the truth. Amen. I should speak the truth. Amen. And we need to be joyful. Amen. And that's why we are not constrained. You see, uh, look at Bert Myers. He's blind. He's not even caring about his blindness. He's not caring about his poverty. He's not caring about his condition. He already lost the turtle doves. Now he's living and he's losing now the lamb. But what is in store? God does not bribe you. God is not going to heal you so he can do this. No. He wants you to act fast. Amen. Amen. Remember there was a prayer. And God answered the prayer. Blind but Myers recognized God's answer. And he acted according to his promise to God. God acted immediately. Oh my. Oh wow. Uh, this is nice. Praise the Lord. Amen. You go up to the buyers and buy a lamb and offer that lamb because you can't offer just that lamb. He said, Oh priest. Listen to that. Oh priest. I never promised God a lamb. I promised him this very one. Did God force him to promise? No. Did he promise by himself? Yes, sir. So are you going to do it by yourself? Amen. Remember when you are running in the city of refuge, nobody forced you. Amen. Nobody tell you, come to church, come to church. No, you came on your own. That's right. So now remember on Friday we say, when you got into the city of refuge, you must be ready to be satisfied. Amen. Amen. And you must be ready to stay. And in the city of refuge, there are conditions. That's right. And if you knew what it meant being in the city of refuge, I was, was oh, Sister Veronica went about there. Brother, uh, 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 uh. Some of the song, I'm Brother.
me what you have, my sister. Maybe you got a paycheck of 15,000 you think is more important. You think now that guy is much better than Jesus Christ. If you can only think how you are shackled, how broken you are, how peaceful in broken in pieces, how you are sinner, how you could in the pubs and the bars and the evil gods of this generation, how you could be walking drunkard, lost your mind, maybe a prostitute on the streets. If only tonight you can think about these things. You are blind. But Jesus, the sacrifice, Amen. the word of God, the only begotten Son of God, Amen. who came from God, down to earth, to die for me and me. Amen. For my sin, when I was nothing, he found me. Amen. He made me something. That's right. When I was lost, when maybe my parents could not care, maybe when I had no job, he came, I was not my brother. Amen. And he said, you found me this afternoon. Amen. You can be common as who that is. You love Jesus. Amen. You are head the world. Amen. Maybe I should read a bit of, just a little bit. It's one of God. Let me just a little bit of Ephesians. When we read the book of Ephesians. I mean, those quotes are very good. I may not read the whole thing. Hallelujah. Amen. You love him. The book of Ephesians. Let's just read a little bit more there. Ephesians chapter. Let's see what Paul is saying here. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians 5. Are we there, my sisters? Ephesians chapter 5. Let's see. Let's just read a little bit more of this Ephesians. Be ye therefore followers of God as Dear, dear means loving. Dear children. And walk in love, not in hatred, not in backbiting, not in malice, not in puffness, not, not in pride. Walk in love as Christ also saw and thou loved us and have given himself sacrifice. He offered himself a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling supper. Amen. It's gone. But fornication and all uncleanness, all covetousness, let it not be what named amongst you Amen. as becoming of the saints. Amen. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. Amen. For this you know, that no longer, no unclean person, no covetous man, who is an idolater, and then an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ of God. Amen. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Don't come and speak vain words. Don't get back about. Don't get us talking and talking and talking and doing nothing. When you say do it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Get serious. Praise the Lord. You are get serious. Amen. Don't just give vain words. God is not interested in vain words. God is interested in character. Amen. For because of these things come at the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. The wrath of God will come. Why? Then what? Promising God and not doing it. Amen. Did you jump to phase six? Can you go back to that? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Be be not ye therefore, but take us with them. It's a warning. Remember, there's a storm coming. Amen. Hallelujah. For you are sometimes in darkness. But now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. That's why I said we have a ministry of the moon. We walk in darkness, but we shine in darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Amen. Why? I need to cross. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 10. 
Oh my God. Proving what is unto thee. Proving. But Miles proved to the priest what was acceptable before God. I didn't promise God the other lamb. I promised God this lamb and I must sacrifice it. Amen. You can stand against your boss. Amen. You can stand against your wife. You can stand against your husband. You can st so long as the word of God stands still. Amen. Hallelujah. Have no fellowship with that fruitful wax of darkness. But Father, we prove them. We prove them. Prove them they are wrong. Amen. By what? By your works. Amen. By my works. Hallelujah. Amen. For it is a shame even to speak of these things which are done of them in secret. Hallelujah. Amen. We can end our scripture here. Hallelujah. Amen. Go home and read it. Are we together? Amen. True sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. It looks a bit dry, but it's the word. Amen. You love him? Amen. One thing we are coming together, we want to succeed. Yes. And the first success we are looking for is spiritual success. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If he is successfully spiritually, then the rest of the things will follow in line. Amen. If we give true sacrifice, an offering that is acceptable before God, the rest will follow in line. Amen. Don't worry about your blindness. Worry about what God wants. Worry about what God's word wants. Hallelujah. Don't worry about your sickness. Worry about what God said you should do to be healed. Amen. Think about Isaiah 53. Think about the cause of Calvary. Could he die in vain? Could he be stripped in vain? It's for you and me. Amen. And every strain, and the pressure that you are having, and the condition that's giving you pressure, and the situation you are going through, yes, that darkness you are walking in, those things your eyes cannot see, give your sacrifice tonight. Amen. Oh my. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He said, this is the Lamb. This is the lamp. Give me line 26, maybe. Uh, some of us may be the same. Let me see what line 26 says. You love him? I'm closing. I'm sure that's good enough. I don't read everything you can read for yourselves. But I just want us to come to the house of God. You see, I really believe people should do things for God on their choice. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's how you do it joyfully. And when we talk about this, we are not just talking about tithe and offering. We are talking about your life, your Amen. worship, your prayer. Don't pray because you are insisting pray. Pray because you know. Amen. You love God. Amen. Instead from the other spirit. That's what it is. It's just that now no man can save you. Only God can do that. And he has already done it. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, he finished the works of your salvation for body healing, healing for your body and soul. The very same word is used every time. Did you notice our text that he said, Thy faith has saved thee. Mm -hmm. And the Greek word there is called sozo. I talk about it. And sozo is used for both salvation and divine healing. You are either saved physically or saved spiritually. Mm -hmm. 26. The same atonement was made by the same man on the same day. For he was wounded for our transgression with his... Go ahead. And, uh, these stripes, praise the Lord, you are there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By his stripes, we are healed. You love him? You appreciate him? Hallelujah. I need to cross on those quotes messages that you can just try to put them for me. I would appreciate them. Because God is God. God is the creator of all things. Amen. Amen. They didn't believe our uh, scriptures are healed. And it is either the Bible is the truth or it is a falsehood. And there's no need for people in this day or any other day to try to explain it all the way to try to hide your unbelief. It's still God's promise. Open up to God. And if he didn't believe that Jesus or nothing is in the writings of this book, not explaining any of them, there is many promises that I may not have failed to bring to pass, but they are true just the same. And never, if I can't walk 
where Joshua walked. If I can't walk where Enoch walked, did, he didn't have to die and just went home with God one afternoon. If I haven't gotten faith through that, I certainly don't want to stand in anybody's else way that's got faith to do it. Or try to explain it away by some theology. I'll come right out and face the facts and say, I haven't, I haven't got the faith, but still, it's God's word. He said you do it. I believe it's that way. And I believe that the same Jesus that was stop with the blind but must cry, you can stop it tonight. Amen. The same woman that tied him this garment, he still can be tied by the feeling of our infirmities. I believe he will do just as he said, in order to be God, he has to keep his word. Do you believe? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thirty, just go to thirty down there. Just push it down there, and the the, the same, and and that's the reason that the great sacrifice had to be made. One man died for all because one man sinned and brought all of them subject to death. That we found in the book of Hebrews. And man, when you deal with sin, you have to deal with sickness because sickness is an attribute of sin. Amen. Are you together? Amen. Sickness came by sin. Right. And therefore, if the atonement is only applies to your personal faith in God, in the finished works at Calvary, where everything we have need of, we rest upon God's divine promise of the sacrifice of his death at Calvary. It's where we are healed and where we are saved, we must rely on thoughts. Church, do you love him? Amen. Do you believe him? Amen. Have faith in God. Amen. Faith is our victory. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Believe in his word. Act upon his word. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And for one for me real quick. Oh, hallelujah, five minutes will be done. Oh, praise God. Oh, God is so good and if we will abide in our offices, and do as God tells us, and don't look right or left, but look ahead to Calvary, God will work miracles for us. And if you are in that day, certainly we expect, and do know and know ourselves that much financing is hooked up both sides for the healing of your soul and the healing of your body, but still Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and shows for the same works and the same signs, and he did when he was on here on earth. Praise the Lord 49, just go quick. Oh, hallelujah. We are closing and I want you to think about your promise to God. Your sacrifice to God. The same God that healed blind but mice. Heal me. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Oh, praise God in your feeling in your infirmities. The same God who could restore the hour of the but mice. He can do it for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I heal no one. I cannot heal no one. But he does heal. He has, he has healed. And the people by faith accept it. Hallelujah. Amen. And get hit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Are you happy this afternoon? Amen. Let's turn off it. There's a fountain field for the poor man. Hallelujah. True sacrifice Hallelujah. is by revelation. Do something. And if you have to give God, give him your best. Praise God. Amen. Prayer is a sacrifice. That's right. 